How often should people change their password? That's a that's a controversial question. So when you when you force people to change their password, you end up getting sequential passwords usually. Like they've done studies to show now you'll just say, oh, my password is Blake Williams rules one, two, three, four. And then next week it'll be how'd you know that? <laughs> Blake Williams rules five, six, seven, eight with an exclamation point at the end. So what you don't want to do is force people to have sequential passwords. So my take on it is people only need to change their passwords if there's any indicator that a password has been compromised. The strongest passwords that you have are the ones that you know that are long and strong. And that's probably the one that you use to get into your password vault or you use on your personal machine at home or something like that. So you want to make sure that you have some good, long, strong passwords. And besides that, use a password manager. And then if there's any indication that things are compromise, then you then you rotate those. But that's it. And if you ask me for my password for 99% of accounts, I have no idea what it is. It's in my password manager. It's a long random string of characters that I have no idea what it is. Oh, okay. So you're not even making them up. You're letting them. No, no. I'll, I'll, I'll do a password generator and do a 99 character, you know, just completely random. No one's going to guess that. Oh, wow. Okay. I've seen those and I'm like, no, I'll never remember that. But then I guess that's the wise thing to do that's the point um, of it and it auto fills on your browser it auto fills on your phone so i don't have to remember it. it's just going to auto fill it for me right good and point. the future of that really is pass keys ub keys are great right those things that are hardware based token so like the things that i really need to protect i put those with ub key protection and then i have to plug in the device i have to touch it so it has to be me and it has to be a physical thing so even if somebody was somehow able to get into something, they'd have to have that physical device, which unless they steal it from me, they don't have. What's well, interesting, you're talking about the quantum computing, quantum decryption. So it's like a password that might have been stolen in some data breach 10 years ago or five years ago, mm -hmm. and I'm still using that password. It may just be a sitting duck out there waiting to be decrypted yeah. and hacked. The, you know about this website called Have I Been Pwned? No. Never heard so of it. free, free website developed by a guy who I think still works for Microsoft, a really great guy. And what he does is he takes all the data from public data breaches and he puts it into his database. Now it's not searchable for an attacker. So I can't go in and say, give me everybody's password, but you can go in, you can enter your, any of your email addresses and see if those have been involved in any kind of public data breach. And then if they have, of course, you want to change the password that you're using on that account. Obviously never reuse passwords, right? Don't use the same password for any other um, access that you have.